Remember that I said that Mario Kart Tour is a game we have that love-hate relationship in my 10 things that everybody hates in Mario Kart Tour video? And how that video fully discusses the hate relationship of the game? Well, this video is the exact opposite. As I am in a good mood in this video, and what better way to be in a good mood than talking about the love relationship in Mario Kart Tour? Which brings this question. What are some things that everybody likes in Mario Kart Tour for it to be in a love relationship? Welcome back to the observatory everybody, and in this video, I will be discussing 10 things that everybody enjoys in Mario Kart Tour. This list, as always with the other lists, is in no particular order, and covers the main things that everybody enjoys in Mario Kart Tour. If there is one thing that I know I will definitely enjoy in this video, is you guys hitting that subscribe button, and ringing the bell so you are notified of all my future videos. And this chart, in comparison to my 10 point listings video, goes to show how much I enjoy seeing that percentage going up. So without further ado, here are 10 things that everybody enjoys in Mario Kart Tour. We are going to start off with something that debuted in the very first tour. City Tracks. Classic tracks like 3DS Rosalina's Ice World, Wii Maple Treeway, and GCN Baby Park have played a huge hit in keeping Mario Kart Tour alive. But nothing compares to tracks based off of real cities. I love the addition of City Tracks in Mario Kart Tour especially when all city tracks have been confirmed to be playable in the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass, which as of this video, we got Paris Promenade and Tokyo Blur. To me, they bring out the vibe of what it's like racing in a real city. What's great about city tracks is that they have different variations of the city tracks with different routes based off of that track's variant. Now grant you, there are some city tracks variations that I don't like, like Tokyo Blur 4 and Sydney Sprint 2. However, there are some city tracks that I do like, like Berlin Byways, Berlin Byways 2, Los Angeles Laps, Los Angeles Laps 3, and even... So true, so true Reggie Rock. Thank you for your insight, although Amsterdam Drift and Amsterdam Drift 2 wasn't the one I was about to say. Now the comments is going to be filled with oon oon oon. I was about to say Vancouver Velocity and Vancouver Velocity 2, where you go through the forest in Vancouver Velocity and through the ice rink in Vancouver Velocity 2, especially when the crowd in the ice rink in Vancouver Velocity 2 are literally cheering. So like I said, city tracks can bring out the vibe of what it's like racing in the city itself. Coins are gold. You know what else is gold? Rubies. Rubies are one of the main key currencies in Mario Kart Tour. But I am only mentioning free rubies. It is always best if you receive rubies for free. However, if you are not a Gold Pass subscriber, the amount of free rubies you obtain are limited, but they are still free regardless. You can receive free rubies from the following. Tour gifts, standard challenges, rank cups, only if you don't rank 11th or below, tour multiplayer challenges, car pro, tour points challenges, token shop, as well as the token shop pipes, today's challenges on the 5th and 10th day, the today's challenge pipes, although the chances are really rare, and celebrations. Notice I did not mention renewing your Gold Pass subscription with the Gold Pass challenges, packs, and premium challenges if you had to pay real money for them. How you use your rubies is up to you. You can use your rubies for pipe pulling such as spotlight driver carts and gliders that you really need for rank for 5 rubies for one pull, or better yet, 10 pipes for 45 rubies, or coin rush for 5 to 25 rubies, but 
do refer to my 10 mistakes video as I highly would not recommend it to use your rubies for coin rush as the chances of you not obtaining the spotlight driver car and glider will decrease. Instead, use coin rush tickets. They will help you get coins in coin rush regardless of the amount. You can also use rubies for the me outfits, especially those that you haven't obtained. But if I were you, I would save your rubies and spend them on me outfits when you have enough, as the prices for the me outfits are almost as high as gas prices. They are outrageous. So like I said, everyone loves obtaining free rubies from the ways that I mentioned, and you can use them in any way that you want. Just like with the city tracks, there is a feature that debuted since the game's launch, and that is the rank cups. Rank cups play a major role in Mario Kart Tour, but there is nothing more satisfying than getting a high placement in ranked, specifically top 3 or even first place in ranked. But this point only covers getting first place in ranked. When you get first place in ranked, you will receive a ton of helpful rewards, like rubies, 40 to be exact, a handful of coins, and a handful of points cap tickets. And speaking of me outfits, there is a feature which debuted in the me tour, where if you do get first in the rank cup, and being at least tier 50, which I forgot to mention that point in the 10 unfair things video, you get a me outfit, although I despised that feature as you're only able to obtain me outfits as a first place only with tier 50 in ranked, as, like I said, it was mentioned in my unfair video. I just wished me outfits had better treatment to players 5th place and above regardless of what tier placement you're in. All 4 times when me outfits have only been available through getting 1st and ranked, I didn't get any of them. And one of them was the Rosalina me outfit, which I will still be salty until the me outfit appears in the me outfit shop. It's worth the 100 rubies. Getting first place and rank can have other positives than just the rewards that I mentioned. They can help you obtain the bronze, silver, and gold me outfits from completing the three sets of the tier challenges. But that can also imply to getting second and third as your tier will go up when you hit the top three. And when it comes to rank cups, comes rank tracks. And you are trying whatever it takes to keep your tier up. Or on most occasions, leaving it the same, which ranks to the fourth thing that everybody enjoys in Mario Kart Tour, obtaining new records in ranked tracks. This one has got to be one of the main things everybody enjoys while playing Mario Kart Tour, because there are a lot of reasons why everybody enjoys getting new records in ranked tracks. The main reason is when it comes to obtaining new records in ranked tracks, you are increasing your chances of ranking high in the rank cups. Sure, it won't be first all the time, it can be either second or third, thus ranking your tier up, or in common situations, maintaining your rank, so that way it doesn't raise your tier up at all, instead it remains the same, and that too is okay, as long as your tier doesn't drop. Another reason is what I mentioned in the previous point, getting first and ranked, the rank me outfits, as obtaining new records on rank tracks can help you further your lead thus making your chances greater at obtaining the rank me outfit. However, like I said in the previous point, this only works if you hit tier 50 in order to qualify and having a shot of obtaining the rank me outfits. But that isn't the only me outfits you'll receive by ranking up your tier. The bronze, silver, and gold me outfit counts, as one of the requirements to obtain the bronze and silver me outfits are to get first place in ranked. And for the gold me outfit, only requires you to keep ranking up your tier until you hit max tier, which is as of this video, tier 80. This next one is without a doubt another thing everybody enjoys in Mario Kart Tour. There is nothing more enjoyable than obtaining the weak slash tour spotlight driver cart glider you have saved enough rubies to pull for, especially the driver alts which may somewhat contradict my 10 things everybody hates in Mario Kart Tour and 10 things are unfair in Mario Kart Tour as on common occasions. You have to unnecessarily pull for these characters as you may not have a character that you own having a Toshal slot, especially on rank tracks, like me, 
in the Cat 2022 tour, I had no top shelf for Baby Park T, which was a ranked track. I had over 300 rubies saved for Cat Luigi and or Baby Peach Cherub. I ended up obtaining Baby Peach Cherub with exactly 67 pulls. Like I said from the unfair video, Spotlight Pipe Probability, it's not fair, as well as the unnecessary pipe pulling, but at least I had a top shelf for Baby Park T. But for alts, especially Spotlight Driver alts, the greater the amount of rubies you have in your ruby bank, the greater chance you will receive the alt you want. Like me and pulling for alt of my all-time favorite Mara character, Rosalina. You better not say this track is bad. And as a person who is obsessed with Rosalina, and I took it personally, I will easily be offended if you say Rosalina's Ice World is bad. Psych! That's the wrong number! Rosalina's Ice World isn't on this list. It didn't debut in Mario Kart Tour. It debuted in Mario Kart 7. I am talking about the fan favorite, though some have mixed feelings track, Ninja Hideaway. This track is one of the best tracks in all of Mario Kart Tour and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC Wave 1. It has amazing difficulty in terms of the obstacles that are in Ninja Hideaway, such as the falling ceiling, the Ninja Shy Guys popping and turning themselves into bananas, the multiple routes you can take, as well as the Piranha Plant shortcut, and the ending part of Ninja Hideaway's theme makes me want to hit the dance floor. Sorry, wrong version. I want the tour version, not the 8 Deluxe version. If the ending from tour's version sounds familiar for those that have been on my channel for a long time, let me take you a trip down memory lane when I use this as my intro for from about the summer tour to how many pulls for Meowzelina. And those new to my channel, well, here's the intro. Hello there, all set. As you may recall, as of about the Singapore tour, I no longer use that intro theme. I now use those who stand against our path from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Character alts are pretty cool. I mean, sure we got a lot of alts of him, and I mean a lot. But this game is called Mario Kart, to be honest. And some of the alts are quite dumb. But nothing compares to the original drivers. And by original, I mean drivers that either haven't been in a Mario Kart game for a while, or Mario Kart Tour is their debut game. The drivers that had Mario Kart Tour as their first Mario Kart game include Pauline from the New York Tour, Kamek from the Kamek Tour, Charge and Chuck from the Los Angeles 2022 Tour, The Bros from the Hammer Bro Tour, Monty Mole from the Flower Tour, Dixie Kong from the Jungle Tour, King Bomb from the Pirate Tour, and Nabbit from the Wild West Tour. Although Dixie Kong is the worst of the original drivers that I mentioned in this list. I am not including Peachette from the New York tour in this list because Peachette is basically a Toadette alt. Toadette transforms into Peachette using the Super Crown and New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. And we hadn't had original drivers being in a Mario Kart game in a long time after their last Mario Kart appearance. Like Funky Kong from the Jungle Tour. Birdo from the New Year's 2020 tour, and Diddy Kong from the New York tour, which all three drivers' last Mario Kart appearances were all from Mario Kart Wii. Long story short, original drivers can bring out the hype of the tour, determining what driver it is, which is having multiple Mario Kart tours pulling for these drivers. The next thing is another main thing that everybody enjoys in Mario Kart Tour especially for you competitive players. And that involves who I call the Combo Ticket Trio. The Combo Ticket Trio includes the level up, 
point boost, and points cap tickets. These tickets play an important role in Mario Kart Tour, as leveling up your driver, cart, and glider's ranks and points are super helpful, especially on rank cups. Hence the fourth thing that I mentioned, obtaining new records on rank tracks. If it were up to me, the level up tickets are honestly the best tickets you can receive, as the more level up tickets you have, the more drivers, carts, and gliders you can level up, thus increasing your combo and possibly increasing your driver's frenzy probability. You can obtain tickets in a variety from a lot of resources. These resources include the premium challenges, token shop, with the inclusion of the token shop pipes, daily selects, even though high-end level up tickets are super rare, tier shop, packs, and the points challenges. <laughs> However, just like I mentioned in the free rubies point, you have to pay real money when you get them via premium challenges and packs. When you level up your drivers, carts, gliders, level points, you are increasing your chances of getting a ton of new records. Even if the tracks are selected being rank cups or not in the tour. I mean, how do you think I ended up over 1 million points in the Amsterdam tour, the first and so far only tour where I hit 1 million points? This next feature is something that everyone should enjoy, from Mario Kart Wii to the launch of this feature in Tour in March of 2020. Still don't know why that is. Multiplayer. Only in Wii you have to use Wii 5 for Mario Kart Wii as Nintendo shut down the Wii's online servers in 2012. But like I said, with the launch of this feature in Mario Kart Tour in 2020, I still have no idea why Nintendo delayed this feature's launch to 2020 instead of fully launching the game with multiplayer included. With multiplayer, you have more fun racing with your friends and other people than racing with the bots in single player mode because my goodness the bots are so aggressive. With the addition of multiplayer comes the tour multiplayer challenges in Car Pro, and if you complete the criteria, you will receive free rubies, a point that I mentioned in my free rubies point. You will receive 5 rubies for completing the tour multiplayer challenges, as well as receiving a specific amount of rubies for Kart Pro, determining your multiplayer ranking, plus 12 rubies total for completing the requirements. Multiplayer has an effect for the expert challenges as well. If you get first place in standard or gold races in multiplayer a minimum of 30 times, you will receive a badge. Just a badge. No other rewards. Just a badge. In fact, that goes for the other requirements too, so that means... Shouldn't the expert challenges point been in my 10 pointless video? Huh, I forgot to add that point in. Enjoy this montage of the next thing, which is the final point on this list that everybody enjoys in Mario Kart Tour, as there is no need to have any explanations on what I am about to point out. Do I need to say anything else? So there we have it. Those are 10 things that everybody enjoys in Mario Kart Tour. Before I end the video, I want to thank you all for helping me reach over 600 subscribers. I still have more things planned in the future, so stay tuned for those. Thank you so much for watching. Do buy my merch, as link is down in the description below. Subscribe to my playthrough channel, which is going to be in the end cards. Until next time, see ya!